Hi, Christine here with another cute, quick and simple card I made using my Cricut. Today I chose my Nifty 50s cartridge and I decided to do a 50s style Happy Mother's Day card with the cute little apron with the cherries and I happen to have some designer paper uh, that had some cherries as a background. So, let's get started. I found um, cardstock at Michael's. It's called Berrylicious. I'm not sure the brand. I think it's the Brazil, but I'm not sure. Uh, it came by 12 by 12. I just cut it down to 8.5 by 11 and then cut that in half and then fold it in half to get a standard A2 card. I stamped my cute cards by Chris and then I found the green cardstock which is the same brand. It's believe it or not the color is called guacamole and I cut it at my standard four by five and three quarters size and then I took a black marker and I doodled or stitched uh, all the way around. I'm going to take my HEG gun or ATG gun and I'm just going to put it directly down on my card like so all right and then I took um, this cherry paper that I found I believe it's from doodle charm designs um, it's the sweet cake pack uh, they're really really super cute um, paper um, all of their designs actually. My other ones, I think my very first video had it, it had cupcakes. Anyways, I've got a bunch of the paper left over and I'm glad I came across it. So I cut that a quarter of an inch shorter than the other one and then I took the guacamole green again and this is an inch by five inch because this is um, shorter than the five and a quarter that I do on my standard one. And I ran it through my cuddle bog with dots. So all I'm going to do is take my gun again and I'm going to put that, actually I'm gonna move my card out for a second. So I'm just gonna put that at the bottom of the page so it completely covers it and I found some red ribbon and all I'm going to do is take some adhesive also on both sides of it and I'm just going to fold it right along the border of the two papers so that it doesn't look like there's a seam and just like so and all I'm going to do, that's not quite straight, there we go. And all I'm going to do is take my ATG gun again, and I'm going to put it straight in the center of the green that I had found. Right in the center, so the stitches show, just like so. Alright. And then I'm going to go to my Nifty 50s cartridge. I think it's actually very cute. It's one of my newer um, Cricut cartridges. And I belong to an antique car club and they have some really cute card, uh, cars that I can make some cards. Anyways, and they had this really cute apron. And it's probably not appropriate now to do a Mother's Day card with aprons, but it was then at the time. So I just chose the same colors as they were there. The Berrylicious, I think there's the bubblegum pink, there's a pale pink. Anyways, and I cut uh, all these images out at two inches. Normally I do my images anywhere from two inches to three and a half, but I cut it out at three and the whole apron covered the whole page. So two inches was just fine. And so I cut out the apron, the top piece, the pockets in the layer one. I did cut them out 
twice because I did add some foam tape in between and then the cherries I did in green so that I didn't have to use the leaves and the red uh, circles come with the apron. So all I did was <clears throat> put all of the layers together and I took a black marker and I doodled all the way around and I don't know if you can see but the pockets are layered and actually so is the apron and all I'm going to do is take off the backings from the two-way foam or the pop dots whatever you have you know laying around works just as well and I just put the apron at a little bit of an angle and I just let rest and then I went to Happy Mother's Day it's from Stampin' Up so is the punch and so is the green uh, punch on top all I did is take some more pop dots foam tape and all I'm going to do is put that in the top uh, right hand corner and then I thought the cherry was super cute to just add to in the corner and it uh, took me a few attempts to figure out what size and in the end I cut it out twice, once in green and then once in red to get the circles and they are cut at 5 inches and again I used foam tape or pop dots to raise it. I also doodled around the leaf and the two little cherries to match the rest of the card and I just put it at an angle in the top uh, left hand corner and then I had thought that this ended up being a little too plain so all I did is I found some gems at uh, Michael's and I'm just randomly going to put them on the bottom of the page to give some bling and some depth to the card and just an added little touch and there you have it very quick very simple Mother's Day card and I'm sure any mom would appreciate the effort made to make this quick simple card so Oops, I'm going to put one more there. Loud. And that's about it. So, thanks for watching.